Hi, Dr. Wright again from uh, Walnut Creek Animal Hospital in Purcell, Oklahoma. We're continuing our working dog first aid series for the handlers. Um, and, and we're covering hemorrhage control with compression bandages right now. And so we're at this area of the neck. So when we have lacerations around the neck, um, we, you know, we want to be able to try to keep this thing um, compressing the neck but not occluding the airway where it makes it difficult for the dog to breathe. And this is a pretty difficult area to bandage as well. But let's just say we have a laceration of, you know, one of the uh, jugulars. Um, ultimately, we want the blood comes from the heart and the chest towards the head. And so his ears make it a little difficult to see. But we're going to start with our clotting agents or our clotting sponge. And we're going to apply that to that region. And then we're going to apply a compression pad over that area next and then we're going to start with our vet wrap or coban and we're going to encircle at least once the entire area to hold that bandage on and then the next thing we've got to do is we've got to go behind the front leg to keep it up there keep it pulled back and now we're going to rewrap around the neck again until we get the uh, compression enough adequate that it stops the bleeding. We don't want to compress this area too tight, so don't get over vigorous about tightening this down. You make his ears swell um, and cut off his airway more importantly. So ultimately that's the way you're going to apply it to any region of the neck. Um, getting it behind the front leg keeps it pulled back where it needs to and doesn't allow it to slide up over his head. So we'll move on to the next video series.